The kidney is a complex organ which presents a number of challenges in testing and diagnosis. With us now to talk about his interest in the subject as well as his session titled Laboratory Investigation of Acute Kidney Injury, Highlights from the New AACC Academy Guideline, I'm joined now by Joe L. Corey. Joe, thanks so much for joining us today. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Audrey. I appreciate the time to be talking about this with you. So let's just start off with what got you interested in kidney research. What's most exciting about this area and the opportunities within it? So uh, it's interesting that the National Kidney Foundation calls the kidneys the master chemists of the body. So naturally, as a chemist, I was drawn to their elegant chemistry, and I spent most of my PhD evaluating emerging biomarkers of kidney function that could hopefully one day replace creatinine, which has been in use since the 1950s. So when I moved to Yale, I began collaborating with a group of nephrologists who were also studying ways to detect specifically acute kidney injury and trying to do it earlier. They were hunting for a kidney troponin, so to speak, uh, one that is like its cardiac counterpart that will completely revolutionize kidney injury detection and management. So that is an exciting area to be in with tremendous opportunities. And what are the most specific challenges in defining and diagnosing acute kidney injury? What does this mean for patients? Absolutely. So the current definition of acute kidney injury, which primarily is a change of creatinine of 0.3 milligrams per deciliter, did not factor in analytical and biological variability, especially for patients with elevated creatinines like chronic kidney disease patients. So in light of more robust biological variability studies, we were able to define new reference change values for creatinine to better detect the disease. We also use that information to define acceptable performance for analytical assays. So for example, a point of care device with coefficients of variation around 10% is not acceptable for detecting AKI. In addition, there are existing challenges with defining a baseline creatinine and alerting providers. All of these challenges affect our ability to detect AKI early, which prevents us from stopping potentially irreversible kidney damage. What is the aim of this session? What guidelines has AACC Academy provided in the area of acute kidney injury? So the aim of this session is to highlight the main findings from the AACC Academy guidance document. Uh, doctors Nicole Tolan and Melanie Hunig, who were part of the team who developed the guidance document, will also be presenting. And we provide specific recommendations for when to initiate testing, which analytical assays to use, what change in creatinine to consider significant that is based on biological and analytical variability, and discuss the clinical utilities of traditional and emerging biomarkers like TIM2, IGFPP7, which is commonly called nephrocheck, among others. And finally today, why is this area particularly urgent today and why should people attend the session? So for a disease that affects up to half of the patients in the intensive care unit and a third of patients who undergo cardiopulmonary bypass surgery, that's a pretty big deal. We're also learning today that COVID-19 directly attacks the kidneys, affecting up to a third of hospitalized patients who test positive. So people should attend this session to learn more from our findings ask questions, and ensure that their clinical laboratory is using up-to-date and evidence-based practices when it comes to the laboratory investigation of acute kidney injury. All right, Joe L. Corey, thank you so much for your time today. Appreciate it. Absolutely.